All right, continuing on page 524, we're at the bottom now. So the mean of the distances of data values from the mean of the data set is called the mean absolute deviation. So what we were, that number we were just finding a minute ago, the 2.8, the 1.5, the 0 0.8, that, that number has a special name, and that name is the mean absolute deviation. Okay. The dot plot shows the ages of gymnasts registered for the school team. The mean of the ages is 10, so the average is 10. So we draw a line through the 10. Find the mean absolute deviation. So I'm going to find how far away each one of these dots is from 10. Okay, So 8 is 1, 2 away. So all of these were 2 away. 9 is 1 away from 10. 10, all these dots are 0 away from the mean. They're right on the mean. Okay, These dots are 1, 2 away from, from 10 because they're 12. And then 13 would be 3 away from 10. Okay, now I add up all these numbers that I wrote down and divide by how many numbers there are. So 2 plus 2 plus 2, plus 2, plus 1, remember I include the zeros, plus 0, plus 0, plus 0, plus 2, plus 2, plus 2, plus 3. Okay, that's going to be 8, uh, 10, 12, 14, 15, 18. And then the total number of dots we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 dots. So remember to change that into a decimal, just review. You take the denominator, divide it into the numerator, 12 into 8, 18. It goes in one time, subtract, gives us 6, add a decimal. Don't forget to add that decimal, because now we're not changing the value. 18.0 is the same as 18. If I forget to add the decimal, then I'm changing 18 into 180, and 18 and 180 are not equal. So I add my decimal, add that 0, bring it down. 12 goes into 65 times, and that is 60 exactly. Subtract gives a 0, so 1.5. That's how spread out the data is. So not too spread out. But remember now, this number has a special name. This is called the mean absolute deviation. So we would say the mean absolute deviation of this data is 1.5. So the mean absolute deviation of the data is 1.5. And we're dealing with years, years of the gymnasts. All right, thanks again for watching. And I'll see you on the next one.